Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Heavenly Parent Holy Community Oceania Hundoke with Reverend Yutaka Yamada. Today being Monday, the 20th of December or the 17th of November in the ninth year of Chongul Group. Let's begin by offering a bow to our Heavenly Parents and True Parents. Chariot, Kyombe. Haro. And let's recite our family pledge, both in Korean and English. Thank you. Kajonmense Pan Chonikuk Chuin Uri Kajogun Cham Sarangul Chunshimago Chonikuk Shidel Majayo Cholte Shinang Cholte Sarang Cholte Pokjongro Shine Ilche Isangrido Chisan Chongukwa Chansan Chonguge Hevan Konga Sokwankon Wanson Haikosil Family pledge number eight. Our family, the owner of Chongil Guk, pledges having entered the era of Chongil Guk to achieve the ideal of God and human beings united in love through absolute faith, absolute love, and absolute obedience, and to perfect the realm of liberation and complete freedom in the kingdom of God on earth and in heaven by centering on true love. Thank you. I'd like to ask uh, Reverend Kenji if you could offer the opening prayer, please. Please join me in prayer. Dearest Heavenly Parent and victorious beloved true parents of heaven and humankind, Today is the 17th of the uh, 11th month, Chongguk Year 9. We gather together uh, morning uh, as the um, brothers and the sisters of the Oceania as a team, uh, centering on Reverend Yutaka um, to uh, hold the um, uh, morning fundoke um, the, every day. And uh, uh, we are so grateful that we have got the, such the uh, spiritual nourishment every day. And uh, also, the uh, we can listen to um, the precious testimonies from the uh, brothers and the sisters uh, who uh, have been the working in front line, and um, they got the direct experience with the uh, our beloved true parents. As those the testimonies are very precious and uh, need to pass on to generation to generation, and we are really um, the um, follower of the. Um, our beloved true parents and uh, our act gonna be recorded as the um, the um, complete testament age uh, the act um, something like that and uh, anyhow heavily parent um, the uh, focus for this time is the reunification of North and South Korea as the true mother desperately are wanting to call the um, the BBIP our world leaders from. Uh, leader from all over the world uh, to um, really make a um, big impact onto the people of the Korea uh, who are wondering um, what to do uh, in the last days. And uh, we pray that we can uh, make a positive impact to the, um, the general opinion of the nation so that the um, righteous person is going to be able to become the um, president of the South Korea so that the uh, South Korea can really go along with the um, true parents, the uh, direction so that the um, um, peaceful reunification of North and South Korea to take place. And the heavenly parents, we also, uh, as a members of Oceania, uh, as a part of the Asia Pacific region, uh, we really like to take uh, our um, portion of responsibility uh, <clears throat> so that uh, we can truly able to stand before you as the uh, proud the uh, true sons and daughters. And, um, oh, and also um, we uh, <clears throat> feel that um, the, we can the, fulfill the, um, the, the prophecy that true parents have given to us, Father, as uh, it says that uh, the unified world begins from Oceania and the uh, salvation of the uh, humanity is through self-power, uh, self-reliance, um, heavenly parents. So we are the uh, ready uh, to 
uh, fulfill this, those the um the prophecy that the Father has given uh, to to us, um, and uh, please encourage each of us to to um to take the um um the spiritual nourishment to grow and uh, uh, be mature and uh, move forward, Father, to be able to to offer the substantial joyful result uh, to you. Um, then this morning, uh, um, <clears throat> so we are going to have the uh, have look in inviting uh, the uh, your uh, spirit uh, and uh, the speak through the um, uh, Reverend Yutaka so that we can uh, to be able to to um, receive the uh, uh, spiritual nourishment uh, to uh, to move forward for today and the uh, coming week. I report all those things uh, to start the uh, uh, morning from Doke in the name of Kenji Watanabe on behalf of the our beloved brothers and sisters gathering together here. Aju. Thank you. And uh, let's give a warm welcome to Reverend Yutaka as he shares this morning. Thank you. Good morning, uh, brothers and sisters. Thank you for uh, joining this one. Okay, how was last weekend? Did you have a good time? So this week is the week of Christmas. So every nation is celebrating about Christmas and many of our members or family also is going back to the family members to meet the son and daughters and parents and to have a great time with the family members. So we will celebrate about Christmas, but in the same time also, we need to feel and find our Jesus heart and also Jesus life. So today also let's put our chanson in heart and let's begin the great moment with our heavenly parents and true parents. Uh, last Saturday, uh, we had Think Tank 2022 Forum, Inter-Religious Forum. So did you attend this one? So as the keynote address, uh, Pastor Paul White, Paul White really gave the message and take a lead that gathering. So that was really great impact. She clearly testified about true mother and really she offered her life for God. And one person asked some question to uh, Pastor Paul White, why? What is the motivation to involve this unification between North and South Korea? Do you remember this one? And also she said, actually her father was passed away when she was five years old. And also when she was 18 years old, she was seeking God and she found God and she determined that to offer all her life for God and also the people. That's why the reunification between North and South Korea is also one of that. To support people, live for people, and also live for God. We could see her involvement and also investment. And also, uh, she is also the advisor of President Trump directly, right? So almost more than... I. I remember that I don't remember the year, but maybe 15 or 20 years almost together with 22 years, 22 years supporting the Donald Trump, President Donald Trump. And they had a many discussion about God and about Jesus. So those foundation, knowing God, knowing Jesus, those foundation will uh, was leading her to connect to her to parents also. And uh, we could see how she is doing the important role for Christian society. So now many people is coming to us, how we will meet and how we will guide those person to connect our heavenly parents and true parents and heavenly parents wish and true parents wish. So last Saturday, that was great. If you didn't watch that, you can watch through YouTube or um, several Facebook. Please watch again. Her message was also good. So Think Tank 2022 Forum last Saturday, that was a really good time. And yesterday, uh, Sunday, we had received 
the beautiful message from our Mr. Chris. So he shared a lot of his realization and learning and experience with true parents, right? So when we, we, we go to the life of this providence, we have learning many things. And yet we will meet many kinds of struggling or overcoming. When we see that each central figure also, they had many kinds of struggling and overcoming. Now, true father completed all providence to create this foundation and completed this providence. And mother now continue those providence until going to the next stage. That's why when we see our three parents' history, we can see to the development or changing from era of restoration to era of Choniku. That's why we are living the era where nobody goes through. Even true father didn't go. This way is totally the completion era to complete the era of Choniku with true mother. Of course, true father is supporting from spiritual world. True mother is working from physical world together with our heavenly parents. So really there are many changing from Satan's dominion and God's dominion. So three parents really offer the victory. And now this era, uh, there is no kind of uh, involvement of Satan. So era itself was totally changed from Satanic world and to heavenly world. But how about ourselves? Era was changing, but we are as the individual, we have also responsibility. We have to victory and we have to overcome as the individual level and the family level and also three parents at least. Three parents is talking to us at least until the tribe level, chombo level. We have to overcome and we have to victory as our responsibility and also 43 substantial uh, couples. So now era was changing and the environment was changing. So really we are living a great time, but in the same time, we have also responsibility for individual and also family and tribe. So yesterday's uh, Mr. Chris message, really he, he shared many realization. And I think many message was also in the true parents' word. Uh, I heard that, that story also that Jacob and Esau, uh, he mentioned about um, Jacob should have returned the elder sonship to Esau. Yeah. Uh, I didn't find this message clearly yet, but I heard, uh, I remember the father's message. The, we know the great meeting, reconciliation between Jacob and Esau, right? But after that, actually, they have to live together and they have to unite together continuously. So Jacob's son, Joseph, was, uh, became the prime minister of Egypt. And Joseph invited Jacob and all family members to Egypt at that time when people were suffering of the food. But that time, Jacob and Jacob's family member or tribe went to Egypt. But that time Jacob didn't bring Esau to Egypt. That's why all Israelites have to go to Canaan to unite again. If Jacob that time brought Esau to Egypt, then they did not, they don't need to go back to Canaan. I had some kind of this message. So anyway, we are learning to the parent message. We are leading and learning, and we had many message, but one of the, our important attitude or our kind of the important things is to find the source. If we can find the source of true parent's message, for example, this word is from which book, Chan Song Gyon, or father's book, or which year. If we could find always the source, then those father's message is no more own concept or own memory. We can say, based on this father's message, I'm really agree that. I'm really sure 
this is really the, our way or truth. Of course, not, not easy to memorize every time, but in the future, when we study, when we learn God's word, if we brought together of the source, then we can say, because this father's message, my life was changed. Because of this message, we want to share to another person more. So if we find then more easier to explain another person, there are many kinds of contents. We have a many kinds of realization. But in the same time, if we can put more than this message, if when we talk to the people, we can have more confidence, right? Because we have a clear message. Then become this become my realization to kind of the public realization or public message. So if we can learn together or share together, then we can learn and we can realize new things also. So anyway, yesterday, thank you, our uh, Mr. Chris. So uh, you have a many deep thinking or many realization. So we can share more and we can understand or learn the contents more. So thank you. So today, let's go to Fundok. Now we are reading about mother's astrology and we are talking about Jesus Mary, and Mary and also Joseph or a several person. And the last time mother was clearly mentioning about Ma Mary who could not complete her responsibility. So when we heard the message, what did we feel? What did you feel? So mother is mentioning about failureness or the uncompletion of Mar Mary's responsibility or Mary's role. But when we see our true mother, when we see our true father, our true parents, I think true parents' attitude, true parents' way of talking is really straight or clear with love. When we see the history of our providence, also John the Baptist also same. John the Baptist was failed. And because of John the Baptist, also the Jewish history or the history of Jesus was going to the different way. And sometimes the leader or member had committed a lot of problem. So when true father meet the leader who have committed some problem, what did he do? Maybe we remember he uh, scold the leader directly in front of all peoples, right? Scold and pointed out why you did this one, why this kind of problem, why you committed this kind of things. But what's the motivation of true father? What's the motivation of true parents? When true parents scold them and pointed out them and show everything to the people, actually this become the indemnity and this become to clear their past mistake and also the restore and to the open the way and the uh, liberate their person's heart. That's why this is actually the love of our true parents. So who is, Mar who is Mary in the society? When we see the Christian society, especially Catholic, they really love and respect the Holy Mother Mary, right? Because Holy Mother Mary is conceived the children of God. And some people is believing that Jesus is the God himself. That's why Mary is actually the mother of God. How much great existence. So every person is respected her, loving her, and they are follow her. But what is the actual situation? Actual situation is that she could not fulfill or she could not realize the real mission of God. And also she is the one who became the reason to send the Jesus to the cross. So even she could not understand the mission on this earth, but when she went to spiritual world, surely she will meet Jesus, she will meet all prophets, and she will continuously see the descendants and our Christianity and our old life 
and even feel the heart of God. That's why what she will feel now, she committed or she could not fulfill the responsibility, but people or descendants is continuously respecting, praising, and nearly all people appreciating Mary of the, as the mother of Jesus. How, do, how does she feel in the spiritual world? Do you think she will be happy if someone is praising her continuously, appreciating her continuously, or she will be guilty or struggling more and more? That's why she could not fulfill. And also, a uh, mother, true mother is mentioning clearly, true father is mentioning clearly who she is, what she did. This is actually great revelation and really the appreciation and hope for Mary herself. So I found also the spiritual world message by San Hong Di. So I found, I brought two messages about Mary and the Joseph. So I want to share this message. The Holy Mother Mary, August 10, 1997. The Holy Mother Mary was a great woman who was respected as Jesus' mother, even though she is always with Jesus in the paradise. But I have never seen her who was walking proudly. She is living with having a guilty consciousness because she did not fulfill her responsibility for Jesus, even though she is not a nun. She is living like a nun. Therefore, the relationship between Jesus and his mother is in the very difficult situation. However, they do not blame each other. Rather, they are very careful of each other. So this was the message from uh, Holy Mother Mary. And also this is the Joseph, August 10, 1997. Joseph is the husband of the Holy Mother Mary and lives in the same position as Mary's. But he is also living very lonely life, separating from Mary, even though they were a couple on earth. Now they are living like unknown persons and even do not meet each other. Joseph feels difficulty to meet Jesus. And the Holy Mother Mary also feels sorry for meeting Jesus. Moreover, they seem to be afraid for how people think about them. Joseph is depending for his past earthly life and feels very sorry for Jesus because most of people who are around them know the relationship between Joseph and Mary. Their lives are not free on earth as well as in heaven. Therefore, the paradise is not so happy and joyful peace place, but it is the place of wish and hope. So how is this? So there Mary's position is the mother of God begotten son. So actually her position should be kind of the nanny to take care the son or take over the son of God, like Moses' mother. And also like, so we could see she could not fulfill and also Joseph could not fulfill. Of course now to the parents liberated heaven, liberated spiritual world. So I believe their situation was maybe different than at that moment. 1997 was uh, kind of the before revelation of a spiritual world, but already 2000 and also 2012 already opened the era, opened the gate and opened the spiritual world. So situation was changing, but we can also reference at that time, uh, three parents appointed the San Hong Di to send the message to physical world. And he met many people and he sent the several persons message from spiritual world. So we can also reference those message too. So when we see their life, so how about their heart, whole life when they went to the spiritual world? 
because in the physical world, we could not see our real mission sometimes, and we could not see who true parents is, who God is. But if we go to the spiritual world, everything will be opened, everything will be clear. That's why we could see those Mary, Joseph, and those pastors message. So when we see the mother, so when we see Temonim, how much she was great, she realized the mission as the mother of begotten daughter, and continuously Temonim invested and guided our true mother without own concept, without own desire, even without own thinking or life, totally just follow God's will, just totally follow God's guidance to raise up the a begotten daughter of heavenly parents. And finally, uh, Temonim brought her to the Messiah and true mother became true mother and received the holy wedding and the lead the mission as the true mother. So really we could see those histories. So today I want to share one book to you. Do you know this book? Have you read this book before? Nobody know? So this book, Tears of Jesus, The Secret of the Cross, Im Immolation Syndrome, and the Tears of Mary, Seeking the True Heart of the Mother. So this Peter Shabia, she, he is actually our members, very family members. And this book you can get through Amazon. So this person is a member, and this book is a novel. If you go to Champion, actually they are selling this one in Champion also. And even the, of the public in even any shop or Amazon or several websites also, you can buy this book. This is actually the novels. The story is kind of the uh, mystery or a detective message, detective story. But this is really interesting and this is really exciting. I read this. When we witness Christianity, or when we talk with Christian minister, what was the, our difficult point? One of the difficult points is sharing about cross, right? And the concept. And also our Maria's uh, responsibility or Jesus' original will. So those point is actually not easy things to share to our Christianity. So when you read this one, for example, the tears of Jesus, there was some um, accident. And because of some accident, Catholic and Protestant or pastor or priest, they tried to solve the problem, discuss, and finally found out kind of a secret of the cross. And also tears of Mary, this story is totally different story, but anyway, because of some accident or something happened, and through solving this problem, finally they will feel the true heart of Marys. So anyway, all, almost this is the title because if I share the content, it's not interesting. So if you can get the book, this is not expensive, around I think six dara Australian dara or ten dara below that. So this is really interesting. In, there is in Korean, Japanese, English, and several other languages. And our member made this one. If you read this, you can feel some kind of the interesting, but you can get idea how to share those messages to another Christian brother and sisters. So this message really to touch the Christian's heart and the Protestant heart so softly and really to share uh, some kind of the way, sensitive way to touch their heart. So really, if you can, if you could read this, please share your reflection. I want to also hear what you feel and what you understand. Anyway, this is really uh, interesting message. So now recently, we are leading and mother is sharing about Jesus and after Mary's heart. 
and especially this week is also the week of Christmas. So we have to understand more about Jesus, Mary, and the Christianity. Then we can connect our heart to our heavenly parents and true parents. So let's really continuously do that. So this is the interesting book. So I will read continuously. The desire of foreign people to meet the Messiah throughout human history. Many people have cultivated their minds and dreamed of a better world, but that world is yet to be seen. The world today is a world that, due to the fall of the human ancestors, has nothing to do with God's purpose of creation. That is why the Bible refers to the people of, the, of this world as wild olive trees and the coming Lord as the true olive tree. The wish of the wild olive trees is to meet the true olive tree and become true olive trees themselves, for only then can salvation be achieved. So, Mother is mentioning this message. Mother said, throughout human history, many people have cultivated their minds and dreamed of a better world, but that world is yet to be seen. This is the situation of this world after human fall what is our humans a position now our humans position is the servant of servant that's why god cannot involve directly cannot touch to those peoples so god's and the human beings relationship was getting far and has been getting far and far that's why when we see the old testament we could see many some God is appearing to the Israelites, but Father said those God is actually the angel in the Old Testament because God could not involve directly to the people. That's why God organized the angelic world to lead the foreign people or foreign society. So purpose of history is to, of course, restore all human beings to create the idea, God's ideal creation again. But in the same time, first purpose of God is to send the Messiah to change the lineage from Satan to God, then liberate and the multiply blessing, and finally restore our human beings and to fulfill God's purpose of creation. That's why first main message was to send the Messiah on this earth then they can change the people's life. So Mother is mentioning, when, when God see this physical world, that if there is no Messiah, God could see only the darkness. But because of Messiah, there is the light. And our second generation and third generation and our blessed family is actually the hope and also the bright treasure in the dark age a dark world so now we are multiplying blessing so many bright hope bright treasure is getting many and many and finally we could fulfill to restore the nation and world and also the cosmos so we could see i will continue the chan song world also the god the original being History began on the individual level and has unfolded throughout the world. Where will it conclude? It will continue until we establish an eternal relationship with the absolute being of the highest goodness. The highest goodness is eternal and unchanging. There can be no higher level. When we look at the current world, we see that people of diff different nationalities are gradually coming to share the same attitude and feelings about life. So Father said, where will it conclude? It will continue until we establish an eternal relationship with the absolute being of the highest goodness. So today's message, this Johnson message is connected also to the mother's message. The purpose of foreign people, purpose of original people, is same how we could connect 
we could we could establish the eternal relationship with the absolute being of the highest goodness this is god and this is true this is heavenly parents so even father mentioning mentioning that there are many kind of changing in the society and the world so we could feel also those changing things so this is the last part also many who are seeking truth based upon their own beliefs are coming together and moving in the same direction the root is the same history as a whole is marching toward the one point of absolute value we can say that the worldly values people pursue are in reality only relative so even people could not recognize the changing but surely the world is changing toward the place where god wish or heaven's wish because of three parents victorious foundation this era was changing from satan's dominion to god's dominion the era of indemnity to era of chaniku that's why if the person who are doing the bad things or unprincipled things those person will be appeared or will be shown through several way in even outside company also same yesterday mr chris also say if somebody do long things that person will appear and also be shown officially or publicly to be judged so really society now changing a lot even the outside company the person who they need the trend was changing now they need the person who are more aggressive communication but more honestly and also diligent sincerity bright character positive character so they are trend to seek the people or to hire the people is also changing more honest person more sincere person because company will invest to raise up that person so if even they don't have a ability but they have a good character honesty sincerity then if company invest the money to raise up that person become more good contributor for the company that's why even society now start to recognize and finding more sincere person honest person than just a selfish or just ability person so now we are learning about father message father's message and mother's message through the history we could see all central figures sacrificed jesus had mary's heart and because of the victory of three parents our world is also transforming and going to the way which heaven is wishing so all big providence is moving but in the same time we are as the individual we are as the blessed family we have to fulfill also our mission which heavens willing to each of us to fulfill almost ending 2021 and new year year 2022 will begin next year will become also the exciting and many grateful years that's why we will put chance on and we will offer sincerity day by day and the small condition become bigger and bigger and we will go together with our heavenly parents and true parents so today is the monday the beginning of the week let's put our heart let's offer the sincerity then let's create the great moment thank you very much once again Kamsamida. thank you very much revenue taka uh, thank you for your guidance and your uh, helping us to understand uh, more deeply uh, our true parents heart and and uh, our, our sort of understanding and res responsibilities. Uh, there was uh, three th things that uh, stood out for me as, as you were reading and explaining. Uh, the, the first thing that stood out for me was uh, this process of moving from uh, restoration to Chongyil Guk. You know, we, restoration, as we know, is to return to the origin and Chongyul Guk is the actual creation of God's true family 
true tribe, true world. And so that that process, you know, to, to move from restoration to to the actual active creation. Uh, and sometimes uh, I feel that I find myself still stuck with uh, thinking that uh, the whole focus is restoration. You know, I recently, uh, you know, we've heard that word you know, used many times uh, by Paula White and and uh, uh, Reverend Vaya here in Australia, restoration, restoration, that this is God's hope. But actually, that's just one of the steps you know, we actually have to build the true world, you know, and uh, and that uh, world is 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 filled with continuous action of love. It's continuously living for others, and and that brought up the the other point uh, that stood out uh, when you were describing paradise, uh, and paradise is a place of wish and hope and sadness and uh, there was you know, uh, people in paradise jesus himself and uh, joseph and mary they're in uh, paradise but uh, they're sad uh, and so uh, paradise is not as as uh, uh, the the ultimate goal you know the kingdom of heaven chong il uh, is the place that's filled only with love and joy and so when the creation is over, then we're filled with only love and joy. Now, paradise is still a, a place of restoration. And uh, that was something that uh, I hadn't thought of in that way before. But yes, I mean, everyone in paradise is wanting to go to the kingdom of heaven because they want to live in only uh, joy and love. And the, the other and the third thing that uh, struck was the motivation and intent. You know, we we're talking about uh, failure uh, and uh, uh, to, but that exposure of the failure or shortcoming is not connected uh, to blaming uh, the person. You know, the the uh, the intent is really to bring about uh, the liberation of their heart because uh, once the heart is liberated, that enables, uh, I believe, the creation of Chong Il Guk to occur in that person's heart. Now, so once the, the uh, sadness or re regret is removed, uh, then uh, the door is open to build you know, uh, God's kingdom. And so uh, to... Uh, expose uh, uh, someone's shortcoming, and that means uh, ourself as well to recognize our own shortcoming, uh, whether it be someone directly saying you know, change or grow up, or, or we recognize by watching others or reading other stories that, oh, I have the same shortcoming, that is a mechanism that I believe really liberates the heart and helps us you know, open within ourself the door to bring about you know, true uh, Chong Il Guk. So th those were some of the thoughts uh, I had as you know, Reverend Yutaka was sharing with us and, and uh, uh, really, as always, uh, appreciate very much uh, his heart you know, to, for, for us to really be uh, Chong Il Guk. You know, we're no longer in uh, restoration. We're in, you know, the the time uh, of su substance. So thank you, uh, and uh, uh, thank you. Yes, and <laughs> open it up to others to make a comment. Uh, yes, no, go ahead. Thank you. I thought I'll take the opportunity while everyone's thinking. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you, Reverend Yutaka. Uh, I just wanted to uh, say something that I wished I had said yesterday from Chris' uh, presentation. As he was uh, presenting, it came to me, wow, 
true mother might want to hear this, you know, um, because I have heard somewhere that mother is interested in what we're thinking and um, our, or to hear our testimonies, whether she will respond or not. That's not the point. But I think the point is that she, true mother, uh, yeah, is keen or interested to know where we are at and also probably to give her some uh, understanding or awareness as, as to where we are as members. Anyway, that was just the thought that came to me as Chris was presenting. Wow, this will be interesting. <laughs> I think Mother would like it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Uh, go ahead, Jacinta. You can have your hand up. Yeah. Um, yeah, it also occurred to me that um, uh, being on Earth here in a physical body is a real advantage. Uh, in one way, another way is um, because you you get a lot of feedback from people who don't like you or don't think the same way as you do. I mean, especially if you go and visit um, people who are, are living very differently to yourself. And, um, yeah, you kind of, uh, you get an opportunity to restore yourself more quickly because people are saying that saying things to your face that you don't want to hear. Uh, and in the spirit world, maybe, you know, if you're in paradise or somewhere where you're kind of like hunkered down in a cottage or whatever, <laughs> I don't know what they're doing there in the spirit world, but they may not be so exposed to all the other spirit worlds that are, uh, you know, not understanding them and that kind of thing. So uh, I'm just thinking the value of getting out and about and, and uh, having a bit of robust discussion will be another word for a fight, but um, is, is not a bad thing. And um, even though it's a little bit uncomfortable, uh, yeah, I think we've definitely got the advantage and the spirit will benefit uh, from us being uh, challenged a lot. And that's all. Thank you, Jacinda. Thank you. Uh, yes, Mr. Wright, go ahead. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Thank you for the game. And uh, so yesterday, thank you, Chris. Uh, uh, I involved uh, Ocean Providence, but uh, I missed uh, tender. Uh, Alaska, and uh, so he also came, went to Alaska, had a incredible uh, be together with father and uh, beside the father, Chris called a uh, small uh, silver sum. And uh, so father, back to you. And uh, I think uh, father knew understanding you history personal history deeply and back to you and you had a incredible experience, really great. And that is your treasurer. Uh, you can, you know, uh, keep for your life. Uh, thank you yesterday. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Rai. Uh, go ahead, Doug, you got your hand up. Yeah, um, I just wanted to share my uh, gratitude for this forum uh, where we can speak and learn so much from each other. Uh, yesterday, when Chris was talking about the um, return of the birthright between uh, Jacob and Esau, I never heard that before. And uh, I'm still trying to digest it. It's really quite amazing. It brings love full circle. Um, and it's so new to me. Uh, it just gives me a greater vision of God's love. You know, I can see in the restoration right now, the process that we're in, um, the younger brother can really, um, attend God on behalf of the whole family and bring that restoration, like what Jacob did with Esau. But then if it's left that way permanently, um, the original order of love 
and or, God's original desire, you know, is sort of like turned upside down to some extent, you know, because he gave the birthright of the children in a certain order. There is an order that God created. And each one of those brothers inherit a certain ancestry and capability and so many things. And um, so, you know, I think, you know, I'm hurt, you know, I, I'm, I'm in the church and I, I know true parents and I should become the central figure, the able of my, my own brothers and family and things like that. But I, I also think that, you know, my brothers were older than me. I spent my whole life looking up to them, you know, in some extent, you know, um, and um, I wouldn't want them to have any regret, so to speak. So even in my own family, I would like to see my brothers respected, you know, as elder brother. And I, I can imagine Jacob having that heart too, um, to return that birthright to Esau. That would have been really full circle. So I, I, I still have to work it all out. It's all new to me, but I really appreciate this forum to bring out such um, points. So I wanted to say, share that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. We have time for you know, one more person. If, uh, yes, Margaret, go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you, Chris. That was really uh, illuminating. Uh, your presentation yesterday. Uh, I think of, of the time when uh, Jesus' disciples were following Jesus and Jesus uh, passed away. It was 70 years before uh, the Gospels were written. And to be together and sharing about what we have learned from true parents and, and our own insight is such a, a tremendous time. Um, so really appreciated your insight and sharing them uh, with us. Um, just wanted to share in relationship to Mary, Mother Mary. Uh, when we first came as missionaries, we stayed at our family home and uh, my family home has pictures of Mary and a big rosary on the wall. And uh, I cleaned up, I took all the pictures, I took the pictures down and I took the rosary down and I put true parents pictures up. Uh, I was not so sensitive to my family. I, I came to tell them the truth. So I thought the best way to do it, just do the, the truth. And there was a big commotion uh, my sisters got together and began to gang up on me. Uh, who am I to come and just change everything in the house? And so I learned that, oh, maybe Jacob Kors, you know, serving the family would be important. <laughs> and since then, the sister who actually came to our blessing in New York is my closest um, partner in this work. She's the one that sees all the think tank and all the PCLC. Uh, whenever I send it to her, she sits and watches all of that. So this uh, is so true. You know, Jacob model is the victorious model to serve and to win. But it is possible. Uh, now we have the picture of true parents and we have Jesus and Mary. And when my nephew's children and nieces come and ask, who, is, who are these people? Why are they close to Mary and Joseph? Then it's an opportunity to, to share that. Jesus called these Oriental men and he is a married person and, and his wife is helping to helping mother mary so it's a conversation piece. um but what i'm saying is that we have to deal with our families own religious background uh with this truth uh just like what has been said this morning the truth has to be told mother is telling the truth 
um, and, and it's not easy to hear. At the same time, I, I remember Father say, when you get blessed, you are a Messiah to each other. And literally, a Messiah to each other means we look out for each other's fallen nature. And it hurts. It's not good feeling when your spouse tells your fallen nature. But I really see that without it, I would not have grown. Um, so this, you know, is, is an amazing package Father has given to us. The blessing is not just to have a spouse, but to actually help each other change. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Margaret. Thank you, everyone. We, we actually have uh, come over time, but uh, I can see Reverend Sadie has something to say. So if you go ahead. Oh, sorry about that. Um, no, just uh, thinking about the Jacob model that, um, and it's still the same for us, still the same for mother. You know, mother has to win the, her tribe and her nation. Uh, that's what she's, you know, that's, that's still her, her focus is to get back home um, to North Korea. Um, that's the same for us. I, I feel it every day here in Samoa. It's not just a matter of, of the personal, like Jacob and Esau, a personal uh, uh, healing, but we also have to heal all our, you know, we have to unite with all our, our tribes. Even our, our nation has to accept our, our religion, you know, our, our faith and our heart. Uh, that's, that's the huge, um, you know, that's the transition point. So it was exciting to see the, you know, uh, the moon, uh, the UN moon, what's his name? Uh, the director of the UN. Ban Ki Moon. Uh, yeah, Ban Ki Moon uh, being there with, with mother, you know, on the, the moon clan and, um, but that's, yeah, as, as uh, uh, Margaret was, was saying, uh, it's an ongoing thing and it's a very real thing every day, um, you know, winning the heart of your tribe, winning the heart of your society. But not only that, but your second gen and your third gen equally have to inherit that heart of, of uh, you know, loving your people and loving your nation and yeah, so it's, yeah, that's that's the thing. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Seti. Thank you, everyone. So it's time for us to offer our unison prayer. I'll just uh, share the screen. Let's begin.
Arju, Arju, Arju. Thank you, everyone, and enjoy your day and see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you, Reverend Mitraka. And thank you, everyone. Thank you. For all those nice things you said. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye. <laughs> Bye.